Harry the Hook Alleman was a feared enforcer for the Chicago outfit in the 1970s. Who was Harry Alleman? The polite sociopath enforcer. Harry the Hook Alleman was a Chicago mobster was one of the most feared enforcers for the Chicago outfit during the 1970s. Responsible for 30 murders. Elman got his nickname Hook from his boxing career in high school. He's also famous for being the only person in the United States ever to be acquitted of murder. Born in the Taylor Street area of Chicago, Elman was the first of three sons of Louis Elman and Mary Virginia Barata. The legendary Taylor Street was port of call for Chicago Italian Americans. Elman was the nephew of future Chicago outfit acting boss Joseph Ferrola. In 1962, Elmer was charged with assaulting Howard Pearson, the 20-year-old son of Chicago police commander. The incident started when Elman at the bar with his mother and friends pushed the woman through a large window. Pearson chased Elman out of the bar and then flagged down a police car. The police soon stopped Elman and started questioning him. When Pearson arrived at the scene, the enraged Elman punched Pearson, breaking his jaw. Elman was convicted but received only two years probation. During the 1960s, Elman was also arrested for malicious mischief, illegal gambling, possession of burglary tools, assault, aggravated assault, grand theft auto, armed robbery, and aggravated kidnapping in 1964. Elman was married to Ruth Felper Mustari, a widow with four children. Do an accident as a teenager, Elman was able to produce children of his own. However, according to Ruth and his stepchildren, he was a loving, kind husband and father, and very polite. In the early 1970s, Elman decided to force independent bookmakers in Chicago to pay extortion payments or free tax to the outfit. If the bookmakers refused, Elman was willing to use force on them. According to law enforcement, and the Chicago Crime Commission, Elman committed 30 murders in Chicago between 1971 and 1976. His alleged victims included Richard Kane, a top 8 boss of Sam Giancana, along with counterfeiters, mob enforcement and security guard from Miami Museum that failed to pay his gambling debts, a former police officer and another mob enforcer. Elman was prosecuted for the only one murder the 1972 Logan killing. On September 27, 1972, Elman fatally shot Teamsters official William Logan in Chicago neighborhood. Two witnesses watched Elman commit the murder and prosecutors thought they had a strong case. According to the prosecutors, the reason for Logan's murder was the union man was obstructing Elman's crew from hijacking trucks. In 1978, Elman was convicted on the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organization Act of organizing a series of home invasion robberies, sentenced to 30 years imprisonment. Elman spent time at the Federal Correctional Facilities in Marion, Illinois, Atlanta, Georgia, Oxford, and Wisconsin, and Millen, Michigan. During his time in federal prison, Elman took some college courses and started painting as a hobby. On April 28, 1989, after serving 11 years in prison, Elman was released on parole. During the late 1980s, investigators started Operation Gambit, an extensive investigation into decades of corruption and mob ties in inside the Chicago court system. In 1991, Elman pleaded guilty to extorting money from bookmakers Anthony Reitinger and Vince Rizza. In 1972, Elman was convicted and sentenced to 12 years imprisonment. In 1993, based on Robert Cooley's testimony, Elman was reindicted for the 1972 Logan slaying. In 1997, Elman was convicted of the Logan murder and sentenced to 300 years in prison. Harry Elman died of complications of lung cancer in May 15, 2010 at the Hill Correctional Center in Galesburg, Illinois.